Okay, welcome to part two. Uh, I was just wanted to talk a little bit about this video. And actually, uh, a few years ago, I think it was back in 2011, I painted this painting. I couldn't find a f actually a picture of it, so I'm just gonna. Uh, this is what you, what I can show you. Anyway, uh, the thing is uh, with landscapes like this, and uh, that was actually what I wanted to talk about, is how I actually build the light and um, and uh, details in this painting. Uh, it is a grueling process. I do build, if you see the uh, light areas, I have put a whole bunch of uh, thick, opaque paint in there. And I try to create um, the contrast between the bluish and the orange and red and greens and, and uh, I basically use the same color uh, circle that you see in in nature red uh, yellow blue and then all the nuances between that I also just use as you can see here I use brushworks I try to basically put uh, all these different uh, primary colors into every brush, uh, every brush stroke. Uh, I can try to grab the paint. I try to get small parts of yellow and blue and and yeah, different colors into the, to the brushwork. So it kind of becomes some sort of a micro, uh, micro uh, impressionism. The, the colors are starting to work against or with uh, one another. And when hit, light hits the painting, you get this natural feeling of real light that actually comes out of the painting. Uh, it's not, you don't get the feeling, if, when you do that, you don't get the feeling that light are hitting the painting. And but you feel that the light are basically coming out from the painting. And to get that effect, you have to build thick textures, thick brushwork where the light areas are, and you have to keep it down where you want it to be more subdued and uh, shadows and stuff like that. And that is how I build basically every painting, whatever I do. And uh, I use old Holland paints. I use the primary colors as a basis. And um, I just keep on painting and adding details and stuff like that. Also, the branches are quite difficult because you want them to be natural. So you basically have to follow the rules of nature when you are painting them uh, to get it to get a natural feeling. Okay, uh, if you want to support my uh, work, you can go to Patreon and check it out. If you sign up on Patreon, I will teach you how to paint and for a $5 patronage you will get uh, maybe get your hands on uh, one of my paintings in my Patreon giveaway. So go check it out, you'll find a link in the description and link on my channel. So see you there, hope to see you there. I need all the support I can get.